Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. Uh, this morning, we heard from Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and her uh, discussion delivering a slew of headlines there, perhaps stealing the thunder from what we're expected to hear when Fed Chair Jay Powell speaks in front of Congress tomorrow and Wednesday. For more on both those things, I want to bring on Yahoo Finance Fed reporter Brian Chung here uh, with the latest. And Brian, uh, she covered a lot of topics, but uh, kind of sounds like the same playbook we've heard from Fed Chair Powell talking about needing this recovery to last longer to bring those who may have been left behind uh, in the last recovery along. Yeah, that's a pretty good summary, Zach. And as you mentioned, Secretary of the Treasury, Janet Yellen, speaking to the New York Times earlier this morning in a pretty long interview. And one of the things that she was really drilling on was the need for fiscal stimulus. She again harping on the fact that we have to go big on stimulus. She said, quote, if you don't spend when it's necessary to get the economy quickly back on track, that has a fiscal cost as well, adding later by having a stronger economy, the money that's spent partially pays for itself, end quote. And she actually compared the situation now to the post-crisis era in 2008, arguing that the stimulus then was too small, which may have been the reason for why the recovery between 2008 and 2009 leading up to the pandemic was as slow as it was. She said that we can afford to spend more, especially right now because of low interest rates from the Federal Reserve. Thank you, Jay Powell. And then on a few other topics, she also talked about things like Bitcoin. She described it as an extremely inefficient way, was the words that she used, of conducting transactions. So probably not a fan on that front. And then one last thing, of course, because the GameStop episode, which is still very much a hot topic after last week's hearing, she said that she wants to prioritize investor protection as the Securities and Exchange Commission conducts a report on that issue. So a lot of interesting commentary from Yellen, not all of it necessarily new, but again, really drilling on the idea that that stimulus has to be big and has to be aggressive. And Brian, uh, we've got Fed Chair Jay Powell testifying before Congress uh, this week, the Senate Banking Committee, as well as the House Financial Services Committee. What are we expecting to hear on that front? Yeah, well, shifting from one former Fed chair to the current uh, Fed chair, it's definitely an interesting dynamic there. But Jay Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, headed to Capitol Hill uh, for back-to-back -back days of hearings. I'm sure he loves that. That's going to be tomorrow in addition to Wednesday, both at 10 a.m. And we don't necessarily have his prepared remarks yet, but we did have the monetary policy report, which the Federal Reserve releases alongside these semi-annual testimonies that was released by the central bank last Friday. And nothing particularly new on that front beyond the Fed can continuing to reiterate its commitment to keep accommodative policy for as long as it takes to get maximum employment and inflation moderately above its 2% target. But a lot of really interesting things to kind of watch for in those hearings, namely, will Jay Powell offer any sort of commentary on the quantitative easing program? Obviously, we've been talking about it on these programs. Bond yields, especially on the long end, have been going up quite high. Does the Federal Reserve see a case for maybe trying to pin down some of those yields. One way they could do that is by yield curve control, a policy where they say, we'll buy as many 10-year bonds, for example, as it takes to get the yield below a certain level, say, you know, under or sub 2%. Whether or not they see that pressure right now where bond yields are could be an interesting uh, question. And one other thing, obviously, that the Fed will be watching for is the assessment on inflation, as that appears to be the big talking topic, whether or not those inflationary pressures will run away as we get close to that post-pandemic economy, things to watch for. And we'll obviously have the full coverage of that right here on Yahoo Finance. Yeah, no question. We'll be turning to you for the headlines. Brian, thanks so much for that.